Hey, what's up? Andrew Kramer here for VideoCopilot.net and welcome to another exciting video tutorial. Um, I do apologize if my voice is a bit raspy, I'm just getting over a cold, but uh, I feel good and I want to record a tutorial. So, we're going to be creating this uh, design here using uh, some of the evolution design elements. And of course you can find the Evolution Collection at videocopilot.net and uh, check our products for Evolution. Uh, very powerful DVD so definitely check it out. So what I've done is I brought in a couple of the design elements and here's what we're going to be creating. So we basically made a cool 3D title plate and uh, let's go ahead and get started. So first thing I'm going to do is create a new composition and we'll make it uh, 720 by 480 five seconds long and then we're going to create a new solid and we'll make it sort of grayish tan somewhere around there choose OK then we'll create a new solid that's dark red in this area here and we want to change the transfer mode of this layer to classic color burn and we'll take the elliptical mask tool and uh, double click add a vignette. I'll hit MM, subtract it, and feather it. And then we'll hit T and lower the opacity. Now, before we get into the main part of the design, I actually want to show you another cool way to use some of the evolution elements to create cool patterns um, and backgrounds. So what I'll do is create a new adjustment layer and I'm gonna move the adjustment layer just below the vignette and then I'll take uh, let's see from the effects and presets we'll type kaleidoscope let's see CC Kaleida and uh, we're gonna be using this effect and before we move on I'm gonna take one of the flourishes number 14 drag it out and then I'll hit S and we'll scale it down. So what we have is this element that just uh, animates out and we want to shrink it down right here in the middle and then on this adjustment layer we want to make sure the flourish is just below it and then we're going to take the CC Kaleida apply that to the adjustment layer and what it does is sort of repeats it and kind of mirrors it and you can kind of see if you rotate uh, the kaleidoscope parameter you can see some cool interesting design so if you guys know what a kaleidoscope is it's like that tube that you look in has like the crystals and uh, you turn it and um, you know does some interesting shapes so I don't know who thought of that but uh, I think it was awesome um, so there's also some different options for how to look um, you know we can unfold it let's see or turn into sort of a star shape um, but for now actually let's uh, let's take the flourish actually and uh, if you can turn this on and off you can kinda of see what's happening it's sort of repeating that area and what I can do is move this around and create some some interesting effects uh, what I'll do is I'll change the transfer mode to overlay and then I'll hit T and bring the opacity down so it's just very subtle back there. I'm going to take the flourish also and move it over so that it's on the whole time. I can also just uh, still frame it but that'll work for now. So next step uh, I'm going to create a new solid and uh, we'll choose black and OK. I never know like how fast I should go. I always wonder if like I'm teaching this to someone who's this is their first tutorial or if I'm uh, teaching it to everyone who's already been here um, so I apologize if uh, I uh, annoy you one way or the other. Okay, so what we're going to do is create a title plate. Now there's a couple of ways we can do this. We can use the pen tool and with the layer selected we could draw shape here. So we could do that and that looks pretty good. Um, also After Effects CS3 comes with a shape tool for rounded rectangles so we can actually just click and then we have like a perfect 
rounded rectangle shape. So we'll do that, but uh, you know, you could do it the other way too. So let's see. Um, we have our title plate, and now we need to bring in our evolution elements. So I'll go back to the project window, flourish number six, drag it out. We'll scale it down. So you move forward in time. And uh, let's fill this with like dark red. So I'll choose generate fill. And we'll change the color here. And we'll change the transfer mode to see classic color burn. And then I'm going to rotate it and scale it down. We're just going to kind of hang it out the side here. Actually, I may change the color to make it blend a little bit. And that's the cool thing about After Effects CS3 is that if you do color changes, it updates in the uh, in the monitor or in the composition window, so you can actually see what's happening. So that's pretty awesome there. So we want to sort of see semi-transparent areas like that, and uh, we'll choose OK. And then I'll duplicate this, edit, duplicate. And then we'll move the copy over here. We'll rotate it, scale it down, just uh, make it look uh, make it look different, something like that. Then we'll duplicate another copy. I'm gonna hit Control D, and uh, now I have another copy. And I'm gonna change the fill color to like yellow. Now I'm gonna change the transfer mode to normal, and then I'm gonna choose Effect generate or stylize glow and so we're going to add a little glow. I'm going to bring the uh, res to half and then go to 50 percent. This is another good example of why uh, the color updating is so cool is right now it's kind of yellow and doesn't look very good but the glow is sampling the color of the uh, flourish but if I click on the color and if I adjust it just right and get the color just right See, that's too orange, but if I can dial it back just a little bit, we can sort of create this color that's just in between where we have like a bright yellow core and a more of a golden glow. And that's kind of what we want, and we'll increase the glow radius. I'll go back up to full res, and maybe right around there. So that's what's uh, great about this is I can fine tune the color and not have to you know open and close it every time. So nice feature there. So this uh, flourish is a little large so we'll scale it down and uh, we'll just move it right into this area and rotate it. Okay now the other thing I want to do is take our title plate and move it above our flourishes and so that they kind of grow out from behind and I'll probably dial back our uh, kaleidoscope flourish. Let's just tone that down a bit. And I'll take this golden flourish and duplicate it again and rotate it and move it over to this side. At this point it's more experimental um, but you can just kind of play around with them, rotate them and all that good stuff. So um, the other thing I want to do is add sort of this uh, cool glow and uh, to do it we're going to create a new solid and uh, we'll just uh, make it black but I'm going to choose effect generate and fill and we're going to use a color so we'll use like a, a red color also change the transfer mode to screen and then we'll take the ellipse tool and hold down control here and we're just going to kind of draw a circle and then we hit F feather out the mask and put that below the title plate and now we want to kind of play with the color here so I want to definitely want more of a red color now I want to see a little bit more of our flourishes so I'm going to scale them up and kind of bring them into uh, the shot a little bit now I want to bring a little bit more warmth into the shot. So what I'll do is take the vignette and uh, we'll fill it with a color also. And I want it just to be a little bit more uh, orange, a little bit more red actually. And then we'll take uh, the title plate and add a gradient. So I'll choose effect, generate, ramp. 
and uh, we'll just change the bottom color to like a dark red and bring the uh, points in a little closer to each other. So that looks pretty good. Um, and uh, the other thing I did is added sort of some particles in the background. So I create a new solid. We'll uh, take the uh, particle world plugin and uh, bring that out. And uh, we'll change this to off. And then we want to make sure the layer color is like a yellow color. So I'll choose uh, layer solid settings. And we'll just sort of pick uh, this yellow. Okay, let's see. We'll change uh, the gravity uh, to 0 0.1 and uh, the particle to lens convex. We'll make uh, little dots. And uh, we'll bring the size of the birth and the death down. And uh, we'll bring the amount of particles down. So we'll bring the birth rate down. And then we'll, uh, let's see, bring the velocity of the explosion down. So that way they're not shooting out so much. And the gravity, 0 0.03. Make it even less there. And then we'll make the producer larger. We'll uh, just increase it so it kind of fills up the space here. And uh, there you go. And then we'll choose Effect Stylize Glow. And we'll put this below the title plate. And actually, maybe we'll make the solid, uh, maybe make it more white. And choose OK. So add a little bit of highlight there. And then maybe bring the size of the particles down. More like sprinkles instead of uh, dipping dots so that's uh, that's good um, you know and then we could take uh, you know a, a text layer and uh, you know title it up looking good now I also in the uh, original comp I actually turned all the layers into 3d and so Let's see, if you toggle the switches, um, we'll make all the essential layers 3D. So the flourishes, this black layer is actually our red glow, and this is our particles. Now what we want to do is turn on the 3D switch for the flourishes, for the glow, and for the title plate. But not for the particles because they have their own 3D uh, space through the plugin. So. Now we have uh, this, um, but we want to sort of offset the layers a little bit, so uh, we'll uh, bring the title plate forward. Um, actually, we'll create a camera, uh, like a 35 millimeter camera, and then we can uh, take the orbit tool and you know move around and sort of see the depth. But we'll take the title plate, we'll move it forward just a bit. We'll take uh, a couple of the flourishes, and we'll just move them back and then we'll take uh, the title plate actually and duplicate it and move it back so essentially we have uh, you know an additional copy now let's take the particles and put it below the flourishes and so that the order of the rendering doesn't get disrupted so you want to make sure that 3D layers that interact with each other are all next to each other or stacked on top of each other without any 2D layers in between them because you can see they sort of disrupt the uh, the blending. So, But once you get that dialed in, um, you can kind of uh, fly around this and there's uh, just some cool 3D depth to it and uh, it looks nice. So that's always a good thing too. Now. This is just a very simple design, but you could obviously change the color schemes up. Um, you know, if I wanted to darken the background layer, I mean, I could really create, uh, you know, a very dramatic, uh, you know, title sequence, um, you know, and uh, it looks uh, very cool. And actually, um, there's one more thing I did in the original comp that I forgot here, and that is in the Riot Gear collection, I took this paper texture put it let's see below the title plate and uh, scaled it back change the transfer mode to uh, was it multiply um, and actually we'll go classic color burn 
and I'll bring the opacity down a bunch and then just sort of drew a shape around the area of the title plate and then feathered it out. Let me shut uh, a couple of things off here so that we can see it. Um, I'm going to expand the mask shape. And so you can see the texture is sort of bleeding around the edges. Um, and you know we can kind of feather that as much as we'd like. And also we'll turn it into a 3D layer by hitting that 3D switch. Turn back on our other layers. And so now we have uh, just a little bit more of a gritty uh, texture here um, and uh, definitely looks pretty cool. Um, and then also just to kind of show some other cool uses for the Riot Gear collection, I've just taken uh, one of these flow elements and it's got just kind of a cool texture to it. And, you know, just playing with the transfer modes um, is just a great way to experiment with, you know, different looks. Um, um, and there's a cool way to cycle through them. You hold down shift and just hit plus and minus on the uh, keyboard up there by the numbers and you can just kind of cycle through all the different possibilities and you know if you see something you like you can uh, you know play with it uh, bring the opacity down maybe just have a texture we could put it down below um, maybe just uh, blow everything and you know just kind of have a, a cool looking texture there in the background Let's see here. Anyway, um, this is just uh, another example of uh, cool things that you can do in After Effects, um, you know, with the, with a little bit of time and a little bit of effort. So, uh, and of course, check out Evolution. Uh, it's a great product, and uh, of course, uh, we do appreciate all the customers out there um, who've purchased our DVDs. Uh, definitely helps uh, make all this possible. And uh, you know, uh, tax season's coming up. Um, you know, buy a DVD, write it off uh, for next year. Uh, works out well. Uh, we also um, for those of you who don't pay taxes, we also do accept um, payment from Cayman Island bank accounts through our online store. So, uh, you know, hey, <laughs> I'm just kidding about that. Anyway, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I'm Andrew Kramer for VideoCopilot.net.